Listen, if you're looking to make some small changes for better health, one of the best places to start is your diet. As much as we love the carbs, do we love the carbs? Yeah. I love the carbs. Too much of a good thing can cause fluctuations in blood sugar level and affect your mood. So here with some healthy alternatives, holistic nutritionist Peggy Katsopoulos. Yeah. Hey, Congratulations on Thank the pregnancy. You. I have Thank not you. seen you in a while, and it's been too long because you went and you got pregnant and you came I back came here back. seven months pregnant. <laughs> so we need to see each other more often, yes, I, think. I think so. Right? I think so. I think so. Okay, so I love that you have brought healthy alternatives um, to carbs. Oh, I love yeah. carbs. Oh, they make us carbs. feel good like momentarily yeah. and then things go downhill. Yeah. So <laughs> we need to come up with a way to eat the things we love but in a healthy way. Right. And so what I brought with you today with me today are some of our favorite carbs that we yes. love to eat and I have healthy swaps so you actually still feel good about eating them. They still taste delicious, but they're so much better for you. Fantastic. So we're going to start with our favorite, which is pizza. I can have Who pizza every day pizza? of the week. Every day of the week, I love any it. meal of the day, breakfast, lunch, dinner, it works. Mm -hmm. So the thing is, we when we try to eat healthy, we try to avoid pizza is the number one thing we try to cut. Yeah. One healthy alternative without compromising our taste is a cauliflower crust pizza. Okay. So cauliflower is a first ingredient in the crust, so you're actually adding vegetables yes. to your pizza. So as a base, so it's a great way to, for your family, it's healthy for your kids. And this one actually you can find in the freezer section. You can make it at home, but quick and easy, you can find it in the freezer section of your grocery store. Nice. A half a pizza has only 280 calories. <gasps> which is like sometimes a slice has a lot more than that. Yes. It is lower in sugar, so it has half the amount of sugar than conventional pizza, mm -hmm. and it is naturally gluten-free, so it's loaded in vitamins, lower in sodium, lower in calories, better for you. Okay. And this is something, I mean, you can this one you can get already made if you want something quick, throw it in the oven. You can also just buy the crust itself and oh, put whatever you want on it. So you can put your sauce, your cheese, whatever kind of veggies. Yeah. Um, you can load it up with anything you want. If you want to make it at home, you can do that too. Okay. Grate a whole cauliflower mm -hmm. um, and then just add some an egg and some cheese and bake it and yeah. you have a cauliflower crust. Okay, so that's what I was going to ask you about keeping it real. How tough would it to be to make your own cauliflower crust? Uh, you have to put a lot yeah. of cheese in, don't you? Yeah, you do have to put a lot, a of, lot cheese of cheese in. I'm okay with that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Put a ton and of it, cheese in. And you really have to like, you have have to like it's a whole process so it does yeah. take time so for families you want something quick and easy this Get is it something it cooks in like 12 minutes you can find it in any freezer across North America yeah pop it in your oven and you can like I said you can get a plain crust you can buy the margarita uh, there's different flavors but you can kind of tailor it to the way you want love uh, it. it's much easier okay I'm gonna try that you. especially if I can find it frozen yep. okay let's talk about <laughs> <laughs> you guys know me let's talk about pasta now what okay. should we be looking for in terms so of alternatives? Pasta. so there's so many alternatives now when it comes to better for you pastas. Mm -hmm. One of my favorites is chickpea pasta. Mm. So it's actually made with chickpea. So one serving has 23 grams of protein. Ooh. So it is super high in protein. So when we try to cut out carbs, we try to increase our protein. Yeah. This is a great alternative. And what I love about it is the texture is kind of very similar to regular pasta. Good. And you're not compromising on taste. When you do chew it for a long time and you eat it plain, you can taste the chickpea. Yeah. Like you, you can, but I mean, if you love chickpeas, it's good for you. Why not? But it's just a great alternative. High High in fiber um, and just high again, fiber, high in protein. That's better good. Better in vitamins and nutrients. Yes. Well, I love chickpeas. Yeah. Okay. So I also love pancakes, and pancakes are definitely on my list of things that I cut out when I'm trying to keep it clean. Are these are they protein pancakes? You're going to so suggest? So what I have for you here is we actually made these, and it's really simple. So when okay. you buy, I mean. When you buy pancakes, like traditional pancake mix out of a yeah. box, it's basically like that's why it's called pancakes. It's literally a cake that you cook in a pan. Oh my like gosh, why do you have to say it like sugars, that? It's high in refined carbs. It's a flour. Cake. It's, it's basically a cake that you're it's having for breakfast, and then you add more sugar on top yeah. with the maple syrup. So, <laughs> maybe some fruit. And some fruit. <laughs> um, and then, so what I have here are better for you pancakes. Now, this okay. is something that I just we just made. And it's really simple. So all it is is bananas. It has real oats. So you just take real oats, mm -hmm. throw it in a food processor, blend it so you make a powder using your oats, add a banana, add an egg, some vanilla, some almond milk, drop it in your pan. So it's a better, like oats are a better carb than your refined flours. Yes. So super easy. You can also find, like paleo pancakes are popular now. 
um, almond butter. You can make um, pancakes with almond, almond flour. flour. Yeah. So a little bit more dense. You can add. I have this recipe online for the pancake recipe. You guys can find it online. Yeah. Uh, but if you want to add some almond butter for some healthy fats and protein, you can do that. But again, very simple. Oats, banana, almond milk as your base. So and easy. And you're good to go. And we added, we topped it with some almond butter as well. A little yeah. bit of pure maple syrup and it's so much better for you. So good for you. Everything natural there. So cityline.tv for that recipe. Yes. We'll link you to uh, to the recipe yeah. for that pancakes. Pancakes, it's an interesting thing because you can make them a billion different ways yeah. and just so many of the ways are healthy. Yeah, and there's the so, protein there's so pancakes, the oats, like this is yeah. all really good for you. Yeah. Okay, so now we're gonna talk about this uh, amazing, the bun. the bun, the burger bun. So the burger bun. So yeah. a lot of times, we, a lot of times when you do a, a bunless burger, we stick to the traditional lettuce, like yeah. a butter lettuce, which is fine, but sometimes it gets boring. Yeah. What I have here is- I saw people is eating them at In-N-Out Burger with lettuce. Yeah. Yeah, the lettuce it's was like the, the lettuce. Yeah, the lettuce is what the is, Where's the fun in that? <laughs> lettuce should be the ingredient, Come right? On. It's like a topping. Yeah. It should be a topping. Put it so, on underneath the bun. Right, and so there's better for you options. So this is actually called the unbun, but you can feel it. Like, feel how soft that is. And what it is, is it's made with bread? almond flour. Oh. So this bun is entirely grain-free. So there's no grains in this bun, oh. um, bun at all. It's made with almond flour. Uh, you can find it again in the freezer section of your health food store. Okay. And it's a great alternative. And something else that you can do too. I mean, you can make your own almond uh, flour buns, but That's again, a lot it's of tedious, work. a lot of work. Yeah. So there are better for you options now available. Okay. Also, portobello mushrooms, instead of it being the burger substitute, you use it as a bun. Yes. So it's a little bit more meatier. Yeah. Um, you know, you're adding it with the, with the protein and it's just, it's absolutely delicious. You, can I? Yeah. Did it fall on the Try ground? It? No, this is good. Okay. <laughs> Do we totally need a shot good. of it? Because I'm going to eat it. Huh. Yeah, I get it. It's, it's really high in protein. The fiber has 12 Did grams of fiber. Did you say almond? Almond flour. That does not taste like almonds, which no, is good. it tastes like a bun. It tastes like a bun. It tastes like it a tastes bun. Like it's bread. soft. Because a lot of times with almond flour, it can be really dense and mm -hmm. heavy. So this is really light. Like, I mean, if you squish it down, you can actually oh see. Oh my God, so it's so my good. fingers all over it. So it's the un-bun. It's the un-bun. Peggy, thank you so much. That was yeah. great.